Wow, that that is for sure. And and speaking of that camaraderie, you know, you chapter on the comparison of football to John Coltrane was was great. You know, I love that you emphasize um, the ch and you said the true art form. How many right? books do you see have how John uh, books about football have John Coltrane right. in it? None, none. The first one. <laughs> that was the first, the first one. one. Right, right, right. You know, I have a real love for jazz, mm -hmm. as you mm -hmm. do, mm -hmm. and uh, you know, when I came across these quotes you know, uh, about jazz music and football players, I started to really research how much jazz musicians love the game of football. Yeah, yes. and, and like More than any other sport. Right, right. You know, they don't talk about baseball. You, you, you listen to Wynton Marsalis talk about the New Orleans, you talk, he talks about the New Orleans Saints, Saints. you know, <laughs> like it's his religion. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. It's interesting. Right, it is, it is. And, and, and there's I, a specific reason for it, don't you think? I think because football's a choreography. It's right. a series of dance steps mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. that you need to learn by practicing over and over again, mm -hmm. like a musical piece. I mean, you know, you play trumpet. Mm -hmm. Yes. Okay, so when you're learning to improvise off a of melody, you might, how many times will you practice that improv improvisation? How many times? Oh, numerous times. Do dozens, dozens yeah. right? Like the harmony, yeah. 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 Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Dozens of times, mm -hmm. right, to try to figure out you know, the syncopation of it, the pacing of it, uh, the tone of it, the delivery of it, all that stuff, right? Right, right. Okay, so that's what football is. You have a plan, all right? But, and that plan is part of the corporate culture of football. But that plan will be improvised somewhere pretty soon. <laughs> yeah. Once the plan is instituted, once the ball is hiked, mm -hmm. it takes improvisation because you have moving parts. You've got moving people. And all those people are individual thinkers. Mm -hmm. So you have to react to them and still keep the plan moving ahead. That's what makes the game so beautiful. Mm -hmm. Absolutely. And, and, and that's the thing. I've always seen it as like a big band. As li When I listen to Duke Ellington's band or, Basie, or the Basie band or, or Thad Jones, Mel Lewis, great example there. Like just those big band arrangements. You have the yeah. trumpet section. It's an arrangement. Which is like, yeah, yeah. Football yeah. play is an arrangement. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, you have an arrangement, but... You know, there's an expectation that there will be improvisation or else That's it's not right. jazz. That's part of it, right, right. As the, then it's not football. <laughs> exactly. If exactly. there's no improvisation, it's not football. Right, because you never know how the defense or the offense is going to react. Right. You know, so you have to adjust and overcome and adapt, you know. And, yeah. And that's... That and, was, mm -hmm. Yeah, and that's why I think, you know, uh, the reason why football is so much more advanced than, in particular, like games, the game of soccer or rugby. Mm -hmm. Because... You have an indigenous African American cultural infusion of energy and improvisation right. that you're not going to get anywhere else. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. It's not possible to do it on a baseball field. Yes, it is possible to do it on an NBA court, but there we can discuss that th that point, the difference between basketball and football, in another at another point in this discussion. But you know, it's similar in terms of the improvisation. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. That's true. And, and, and I wanted to ask you, speaking of uh, African-Americans, uh, great African-Americans, you know, Jackie Robinson, of course, pioneer, no question about it. And, and uh, you know, he's done so much for the black athlete. But no one talks about Frederick Fritz Pollard. This man, I know, a amazing, generation huh? before, was the first black coach in any sport, you know, in, in the early 20s for first the Akron black, pros. Yep. And, and, and a star out of Brown University, even though no, he did. There's no book written about him. Yeah. What? There is no biography of Fritz Pollard. Oh, God. That, uh, this that should sounds be... like something you should do. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Fritz Pollard, Fritz yeah, Pollard well. for people who don't know, Fritz Pollard played and coached the Akron pros. Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. From the beginning of the NFL in 1920. Right. First champion, too. First mm -hmm. champion. From 1920 until 1932, when blacks were banned from pro football in 1932. Mm -hmm. uh, and he was a great champion. He was a great athlete. And he was a great coach. And, you know, the Coaches Association is called the Fritz Pollard Association. Mm -hmm. That's right. That's in right. his honor. The Black Coaches, yes. The Black yeah. Coaches Association. So, uh he was a great, great player and a great coach, and nobody knows about him. Nobody uh, talks about him. And he lived till 92. That's another thing, mm -hmm. too, the longevity of his life. Kenny Washington, the first black player in the NFL. Yeah, was at UCLA. Was, was at UCLA with Jackie Robinson. Yeah, was his teammate Jackie Robinson. Yeah, it's just very interesting. Yep. There. Very Didn't get drafted. <laughs> wow, wow. And tryout. He tried out and, yeah, and made the team. Didn't get drafted. Got tried out and made the 